Hello and welcome to stop number three on the Songs About Us blog tour. Today hosted by the wonderful Shelley Toy from Tales of Yesterday. My name is Chris Russell and I am the author of this book, Songs About Us, which is out now from all reputable retailers. Um, what do you think of my back wall advertising? Subtle, isn't it? Buy my book. Songs About Us is book number two in the Songs About a Girl trilogy, which tells the story of a teenager called Charlie Blue who finds herself hanging out with a world famous chart-topping boy band called Fire and Lights. Uh, you can see on the front of the book it even says, for anyone who dreams of saying, I'm with the band. And so today's video is my very special, exclusive five-step guide to being with the band. But what qualifies you, Chris Russell? I hear you all cry to present this five-step, exclusive, government-endorsed guide to being with the band. Well, I'll tell you. I am actually in a band myself, a band called The Light Years. And while we are demonstrably not a young, hot, world-famous boy band, we do have the advantage of actually existing in the real world. So, you know, in your face, fire and lights. So, without further ado, step number one. Many of you may be labouring under the misconception that musicians are quite cool. Um, I suppose back in the day, this was probably true. Uh, you know, if you were Jim Morrison, you'd probably just wake up and roll out of bed and drink a couple of pints of whiskey and then just spend the day, like, writing beat poems and seducing people. Um, but these days, musicians aren't really like that. We're much more likely to be worrying about whether or not we have enough followers on Snapchat or geeking out over the latest MIDI interface for our laptop. Um, or maybe that's just me. Step number two. If you are trying to have a conversation with a musician uh, and he or she makes the following face, don't be lulled into thinking that they're having deep philosophical thoughts. There's a pretty high chance they're just thinking about chord sequences. So you'll be there going, hey, um, Gabe, uh, I've just got a new scarf. Do you think that violet suits me as a colour? And he'll be like, ah, oh, I should have gone to G major 7 in verse 2. Step number three. If you are unfortunate to find yourself hanging out with a band whilst they are rehearsing, uh, you may find there's quite a lot of sort of vindictive name calling and hair pulling and uh, being disrespectful about each other's mothers. Um, but this is called being creative uh, and it's a very important part of our process and uh, secretly underneath that all, we're all the best of friends. Step number four, sound engineers. Sound engineers are an unusual breed. Our sound engineer in the light years is called Dan. Um, this is because all sound engineers are called Dan, male or female. It's just one of those weird unwritten laws of the universe. Dan is a lovely person. In fact, he's one of my favorite people in the world, but he's also murderously grumpy. And this is true of all sound engineers. It's kind of like um, in Jurassic Park, um, when the guys arrive on the island and they're told, you know, the velociraptors, if you see a velociraptor, you just need to turn and run. Because if they sense that you're there, that will give you probably less than a second to live. Sound engineers are very much like that, but angrier. So if you, if you happen to stumble across a sound engineer in the wild, um, the one thing you must never ever do is mistake him or her for the DJ. But if you want to get on a sound engineer's good side, then utter the following words to them, verbatim. <laughs> you know, I really love the way that you resolve the compression ratio to just below 3.5. And if you say that, then you might, might just get a tiny smile. Finally, step number five. Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones once said that being in a band is 10% rock and roll and 90% hanging about. Um, this is very true, but if you are Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones, then hanging about probably means draping each arm over a supermodel and being interviewed by Mojo. Um, whereas if you're in my band, then hanging about probably means discussing precisely which shade of farrow and ball best complements a duck egg blue bedspread. Either way, the point is, if you want to hang with the band, you're going to spend most of your time doing almost nothing at all. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been in some way informative and not just mad. Um, and uh, here's my book, Songs About Us. It's out now, so um, do buy it. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Bye. Emily, I'm sorry, just for